We're diving into a topic that many of us have encountered at some point in our lives, dealing with toxic people. Whether it's at work, school, or even within our own families, toxic individuals can drain our energy, undermine our confidence, and affect our overall well-being. We'll discuss the characteristics of different toxic personalities and offer practical strategies for recognizing and managing interactions with them effectively. Let's get started. 1. The Deceivers Deceivers are skilled manipulators who rely on dishonesty and half-truths to get what they want. They may fabricate stories, distort facts, or omit crucial information to suit their needs. This type of toxic individual can leave you feeling confused and doubting your judgment. The key to dealing with deceivers is to always verify the information they provide. Don't take everything at face value, instead, do your research and gather independent verification. It's also helpful to set boundaries in conversations, asking for clarity and specifics to avoid vague or misleading responses. Maintaining a healthy skepticism will help protect you from their deceitful tactics and prevent them from exploiting your trust. 2. The Control Freaks Control freaks thrive on power and authority. They often micromanage every aspect of a situation and try to impose their will on others. This can lead to a stifling environment where creativity and autonomy are crushed. To handle control freaks. It's essential to assert your independence and establish clear boundaries. Communicate your own needs and preferences firmly and respectfully. For instance, you can say, I appreciate your input, but I'd like to handle this task my way. It's also helpful to document agreements and decisions in writing to prevent them from overstepping. Remember, you have the right to make your own choices, and standing up for yourself will help maintain a healthy balance of power. 3. The Angry Ranters Angry ranters are perpetually frustrated and use their anger as a tool to dominate conversations and intimidate others. Their explosive outbursts can create a toxic atmosphere that leaves everyone on edge. When faced with angry ranters, it's crucial to remain calm and composed. Don't match their anger with anger, instead, use techniques like deep breathing and maintaining a neutral tone. Reflective listening can also be effective, acknowledge their feelings without necessarily agreeing with them. For example, you might say, I understand you're upset about this situation. This approach can help defuse their anger and create an opportunity for more constructive dialogue. 4. The Gaslighters Gaslighters are masters of psychological manipulation. They distort reality, making you question your own memory, perception, and sanity. They might say things like, you're overreacting, or, that never happened, to undermine your confidence and control the narrative. Dealing with gaslighters requires a firm grip on reality. Keep a written record of conversations and events to refer back to when they try to twist the truth. It's also important to trust your instincts, if something feels off, it probably is. Seek support from trusted friends or professionals who can provide a reality check and help you stay grounded in the truth. 5. The Know-It-All Mentality Know-It-Alls have an inflated sense of their own knowledge and often dismiss or belittle the opinions of others. They can be condescending and make you feel inadequate. To deal with know-it-alls, it's important to acknowledge their perspective while also confidently presenting your own views. You can say something like, I see where you're coming from, but here's another perspective. It's helpful to back up your arguments with facts and evidence, showing that you've done your research. It's okay to disagree, and you don't need their validation to feel confident in your own knowledge and experience. 6. The Egoists Egoists are self-absorbed individuals who prioritize their own needs and desires above everyone else's. They lack empathy and often disregard the feelings and needs of others. When dealing with egoists, it's crucial to manage your expectations and not rely on them for emotional support or reciprocation. Focus on your own goals and values, and don't let their self-centered behavior affect your self-esteem. You can also practice assertive communication, clearly expressing your needs and boundaries. For example, you might say, I understand you have your priorities. But I need this time for myself. 
This helps maintain a sense of balance and ensures that your own needs are met. 7. The Intimidators Intimidators use fear and aggression to control others. They may use threatening language, body language, or even physical intimidation to get their way. Their goal is to make you feel small and powerless. To handle intimidators, it's important to assert your own power. Stand tall, make eye contact, and speak clearly and confidently. Avoid showing fear or submission, as this can encourage further intimidation. You can also set firm boundaries, letting them know that their behavior is unacceptable. For instance, you could say, I don't appreciate being spoken to that way. By standing up for yourself, you demonstrate that you won't be easily manipulated or controlled. 8. The Drama Queens Drama queens thrive on attention and chaos. They often exaggerate problems, create conflicts, and draw others into their emotional whirlwind. This can be exhausting and distracting. When dealing with drama queens, it's essential to maintain emotional distance. Don't get sucked into their theatrics or let their drama consume your time and energy. Keep interactions brief and focused on facts rather than emotions. For example, if they're ranting about a minor issue, acknowledge it without giving it undue attention, I see you're upset about that, but let's focus on finding a solution. This approach helps minimize the drama and keeps the conversation productive. 9. The Guilters Guilters use guilt as a weapon to manipulate and control. They might say things like, after everything I've done for you. Or, I guess I just care more than you do, to make you feel guilty and compliant. To counter guilters, recognize that their guilt trips are a form of manipulation. It's important to separate your feelings from their expectations. Set clear boundaries and communicate them assertively. For example, you can say, I understand you're upset, but I'm not responsible for your feelings. Remind yourself that you have the right to make your own choices without being coerced by guilt. 10. The Pessimists Pessimists have a negative outlook on life and often focus on what's wrong rather than what's right. Their constant negativity can be draining and demoralizing. When dealing with pessimists, it's crucial to protect your own positivity. Limit your exposure to their negative energy and, when possible, steer conversations toward more neutral or positive topics. You can also challenge their negative assumptions by offering a different perspective, I understand that you're worried, but let's look at the positives in this situation. Remember, you don't have to absorb their negativity, and it's okay to distance yourself from pessimistic individuals if their outlook becomes too overwhelming. Dealing with toxic people can be challenging, but by recognizing the different types of toxic personalities and employing effective strategies, you can protect your well-being and maintain healthy relationships. Remember to establish clear boundaries, trust your instincts, and seek support when needed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.